Welcome back to Undertale here in the RVT game, uh, game crew. And yeah, we just got done finished with spiders. Ugh, thank God Lady K is not here right now. How about, yeah. how about Legion of Spiders? <laughs> oh, that human. <coughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's Metatite and Juliet. No, actually, this is a nod to one of my other favorite RPGs. This is a Final Fantasy VI reference. No. <laughs> I think we mean You're Final Fantasy the opera scene. It's the opera I scene. Final, I believe you mean Final Fantasy III, John. In the U.S., yes, it was three, but it's still Final Fantasy VI to most fans. Uh, but yes, this is a take on the opera scene. I really need to, uh, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> Although I have heard some people say that five is better. Really? Five? I know the new, the usual debates between six and seven, but five? I mean, five's good. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. I thought the job system was great, but I mean, the story wasn't anything to write home about. It was your standard JRPG story. I I think I think it was like Mildred, one of the people who also said that. But then again, he did also say he's tired of people talking up six. Uh, I can understand that, but I'm a six fanboy. I won't deny it. And I'm a seven fanboy. And Maddie is. And Maddie, have you played any of them? Ten and ten two. Nah, it could be God worse. Damn it. You're such a failure. <laughs> could be worse, I know, Tito. I know it could be worse. I, and oops. I do like ten, but. Oh. You really got the drop on us. Yeah. That was forced, and you know it. Now, remember that random floor puzzle? No, boss. Yeah, this time we're doing it for real. And I hope you were paying attention to the instructions that the Papyrus gave us back in Snowden because same rules apply and he and Metaton's not repeating it. Oh, and you have 30 seconds to get across. That was like in part three. Yeah. <laughs> so you have 30 seconds to get across this bridge, across the bridge, and cross this platform. Yellow's electric. But here's the truth. While it is technically possible to get across this, you're not going to truly be able to. Odds are good you're going to fail. It's designed so that you fail. But it is technically uh, possible. I believe there is footage of people who've actually done it. But the odds are next to none. Alphys! <laughs> good call! <laughs> Alphys to the oh, rescue fire again. Wall. Oh, oh, what a pun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I notice Alphys is getting a lot more confident as we've gone along. However, there is still one thing yet. We stepped on the green tiles. And technically we're supposed to fight a monster when we do that. Well, we now get to fight Metaton. <laughs> It would be great if we actually fought Metaton and he was actually wearing the dress in this scene. Oh god. However, we can't really do it any attacks to Metaton. So instead, Alphys is gonna help us, because we have a yellow button on our phone. We now have a yellow soul, and we can press the Z command to shoot at Metaton! Shoot him up! <laughs> it ran! Oh. Yeah. But again, that was way too easy. 
No, it's going to come back, isn't it? No, no, we're talking about boxes never have more than one form. You're being crazy. And now, of course, she's giving her impassioned emo speech. It's not over, isn't it? It Metaton's gonna come back. Anyway, we've looped back around here, and there's the ice cream guy again. Unfortunately, because we're in a hot land, he's already sold out. Mainly because the two guards sold everything. Aww. Well, they did say they were gonna go out for some ice cream. That's true. <laughs> did they have to buy all of the ice cream? Yeah, they had to. Anyway. Sands. Anyway. Sand is before we talk to Sands, norm. let's go up here to the alley and meet Braddy and Caddy. Now, if you have 600 gold, you can buy the mystery key. That actually unlocks the house next to Napstablooks. Is there any way to quick travel to old locations? There is, actually. Remember that um, river person that we saw in a cloak way back, uh, about a couple episodes ago? Yeah. They actually can take you back to, between Hotland, Snowden, and Waterfall. Nice. Anyway, Sands is offering us to take us out for some for a quick bite to eat. And he says he does a shortcut. Truth be told, of you course. can't go through that way. There's just a wall there. This guy really is becoming our norm, isn't he? <laughs> oh, just wait. We're actually going to learn a lot more about Sands here. Sounds like even he's trying to convince us not to go, not to leave. Hmm. Interesting. And here's where we learn something. Huge locked door. Hmm, what does that sound like to you guys? Ooh. The door to Kingdom Hearts? More like the door oh. to the ruins. And one day he was knocking on it, telling some knock knock jokes, and he heard some a woman's voice say, Who is there? <laughs> Got that an idea like who Toriel. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Remember when we remember when we saw in Toriel's room back in uh, back in the like episode two? Yeah. Old lady who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You thought that was Sansa or the joke? No, she writes. She was telling her own. But here's and here's where it gets interesting. Guy's a man of his word. Yep, because... He's got, he's got two things. His bones and his word. Uh, guess what? If he hadn't made that promise... He'd have been dead. You'd be dead where you stand. Notice how the font changed. Oh... Yeah. <laughs> Look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Really? <laughs> sure. Sure. I do, I do recall getting at least one game over so far this playthrough. No, that was non canon. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yeah, apparently. 
And of course, we go sit down. We never eat anything. So. No, of course. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. We are actually inside the MTT Resort. Yes, Metaton has her, his own hotel. Because why not? Also, also. Yep. What are you going to say, Maddie? No, go ahead, no, go ahead. You were saying something. I would probably point the same to you. We got a snow drake. Yeah. It actually explains that basically he's the father of the snow drake we met in Snowden. Reservation Stone. Wow, dude. Oh, someone <laughs> fucked up the fountain. Uh huh. <laughs> now, I think we do make a stop inside one place here. I don't think, I don't, again, I'm not sure if I talked to everybody. I know I try to not do that too much, but we do have to talk to this guy. The MTV Brand Emporium. Meet Burger Pants. Hi, Burger Pants. Must resist urge to make some sort of SpongeBob reference. We're gonna at least buy one thing, I and mean, we're gonna buy a, a glam burger. And yeah. Uh, are you jerking off into our burger, sir? No. I, <laughs> basically, well, you know, definitely. Look like Jesus <laughs> face. He is the epitome of every fast food worker you've ever met. That is not the face of somebody who, who, who likes working at their job. Ah, uh, we've all been there, buddy. <laughs> now he's smoking a joint. What the <laughs> hell? And he's only he's 19 dope. years old, and he says he's wasted his entire life. Ah, don't worry. Wait till you get 30. Then you'll feel like you wasted your time. Yeah, just I feel sad you, now. Yeah, just wait until you've gone through college and you realize your degree don't mean dick. What do you think he's... Hey, no wonder he smokes. It helps. Hey, not as much as weed, but hey. <laughs> it actually looks like weed to me, Carl. by the way. It, by the way, it's in a show and stops. Yeah. By the way, you're welcome for that George Carlin joke. And this is how we learn how his name being called Burger Pants. Uh, he was trying to help out Braddy and Caddy and ended up dropping his shorts as a result. But yeah. I had to at least show off Burger Pants just for the basis. Now here's the thing. There's actually concept art located in the files of this game. And his design looks almost exactly like the concept art. Huh. Like he just copied it over, colored it, and ran with it. But yeah, Burger Pants is quite quite the fan favorite character, or at least one of them, because there's just so many goddamn great characters in this game. Seriously, there are a lot of them. Yeah, there are, and we haven't even met all of them yet. Now you can't go over here, but there's nothing over here. Like, all the doors are either locked or nothing there. So... Ooh, uh, whoa. Whoa, whose room was that? I have no clue. hoo -ah! But yeah, there's really nothing you can do over here. So, same with talking with those people by the elevator. They don't tell you anything. Like, literally, the only thing you can do here is save, buy some stuff at the, at the, uh, at the MTT Burger, and then move on to the core. Uh oh. Yep. We're heading inside that giant machine we saw a couple episodes back. And another awesome well, track to play. 
Welcome to the machine. And of course, the elevator's not working. Told you it wouldn't be that easy. Yeah, it's of course. Never, ever is. There's always got to be at least one thing blocking our path. Yep. And we're supposed to go this way to go up, but yeah, someone's moved around the uh, moved around the course setup. So yeah, we're gonna have to go this way. And it's a trap. Meet magic. Now the trick to this one is you have to pick one of the orbs. If you stare at one of the two orbs, its attack its attack for that power is weakened. So you just want to weaken those as much as you can, and we can. Oh, whoa, whoa! Gotta watch out. Oh, for the... those are the chaser now. orbs. And at this point, now we can go ahead and spare it. So we will. <laughs> Ever the confident one, eh, Alphys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better tracks in the game. Yep. I love this song. Orange, orange, blue should be the laser trip. Okay, then. So let's turn that off. Um, orange, orange, blue, huh, Alfies? You lying whore. You lie. <laughs> you pretty much can tell at this point that she's basically not going to have a clue what's going on here. Everything's going to be pretty much exact opposite of what she thinks it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Except here. Meet Night Night. And as his name implies, we're gonna sing him, sing away until he goes Night Night. Go to sleep, go to sleep, little Dave. Night. No, actually, he's not too far off of what we're doing here. But he's... Teed up sounds creepy. It's teed up. What do you expect? Go to sleep, Maddie. Dave. Okay, teed up, you kind of deserve that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. More lasers. So she's going to go ahead and just... incorrect pattern again. No, screw that. She's just turning them off. Well, she was going to turn them off. She's just going to shut down the whole power supply. There we go. But as you move along, power comes back on. So basically, you want to play, you're playing red light, green light. Easy peasy. Yeah. That far must suck for people with seizure problems. Actually, it's not that bad. I think it'd be more problem with people with any kind of blue color blindness. You're a failure. Nobody likes you. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, you're random anime. Oh, you're an asshole. By the way, remember those ice blocks we saw all the way back in Snowden? Oh, look at that. <laughs> they actually serve a purpose. They help to keep the uh, core cool. And we got more of these puzzles. Son of a belly gun. Hey, two shots, though. Yep. Uh, Shade, you, you had the shot right there. Right, right there. There we go. There you go. I believe it actually is possible to set these up in a way that you don't even need to use a second shot. I've seen some videos of people doing it. That wouldn't surprise me, but, you know, at this point, just I would just do whatever is quickest. You can head this way. 
And there's a clam burger inside the trash can. We don't need it though. Mm, trash burger. We're actually full on inventory. We've already got two glam burgers already. Yeah. I've been wondering why does the hot dog have a question mark? You'd have to play for yourself and remind because I don't remember what it was. I think it was because of something that was made about it. I don't remember something in in the. I think uh, it's, it's it's a water sausage or something like that. I think I read. Yeah, the, that sounds about right. If I remember correctly from the last. Uh, couple of parts there. Anyway, we're going to cross this bridge and we're going to fight some enemies here. We've got the astigmatism. I get it because it's an eyeball. But basically, it's just a, a tougher version of the Luke's monster we saw back in the ruins. In fact, most of the enemies that you're going to find here, aside from the Night Night and Magic, are tougher variants of some of the monsters we've met in the ruins. Thankfully, we didn't have to go too far here. Well, we can't use... The elevator will take us back down to the core, but inside that other door there is, is our next fight. Next time on Undertale... We're going to finally put an end to Metaton once and for all, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Trust me, folks, it's going to be interesting. But that's going to be for next time, so we'll see you guys then. And as always, let us... Yeah!